What's up, y'all? What's going on? Corey and Sharif. Corey and Sharif, so the tech couple here. And today we have some cases from our friends over at Cellular Outfitters. They were kind enough to send us a few cases for the iPhone 10. So we're gonna go ahead, jump in, open those bad boys up. True indeed. All right, what you wanna do first? The one that's closest, the... <laughs> this case. This case. <laughs> There'll be a link to it down below. There'll be links to all of the cases down below. The packages don't exactly say 100% what they use. But we gonna dive in. Yep. All I know is it's suitable for an iPhone touch. That's supposed to be unsuitable? I guess so. Oh, so this does look like something for you. There's a home button there. That is interesting. There's, there's, a, there's a home button. In the mock-up. Well, you know, before anyone knew officially what the iPhone 10 was gonna look like, we knew about the camera on the back, but nobody knew for sure how, how the front was gonna look. How with the screen protector? Well, that's kind of them. They have some tri-shield designed in California, some little shock absorption patterns in the center. Awesome. On the back, it looks like there is a kickstand. You ain't gonna kick it out though. You ain't gonna, he kicked it out. Looks like a plastic. Still pretty solid, solid. It's like a metal out. looking plastic? Yeah. You gonna throw your, your phone in it? I'm gonna throw my phone in it. See if I can remember. Let me get my old case off. You rude. Just randomly playing Neo. <laughs> that's what's up. And that's why the HomePod thinks you're in love with Neo. Oh no, this is not tempered glass friendly. I just found that out the hard way. It's... <laughs> so, so, that's a like thing to know. Yeah. So I don't have tempered glass on, so we're gonna, we're gonna try it on my phone. Let me see phone. if I can save my tempered glass. Oh yeah, it goes right back on. It is D-brand skin friendly though, cause my phone still got that on there. Okay, so this is a reminder to put the toys away and vacuum the living room. I'm just saying. You feeling froggy, sir? Okay, I'm gonna use this kick sand. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, it's a nice viewing angle. So it does feel, it feels interesting. <laughs> the corners are. Yeah, Not these, rounded, they're a little rough in your hand. These big corners. I'm assuming that you could tie one of those things to it. Though. Oh, true, like a, the wrist, wrist strap, strap yeah. things. True, so it definitely feels a little rugged, a little more protecty than I normally get in my cases. Does that come off? Or are you trying to break it? I don't know if that came off. But did it come off because it's supposed to come off? <laughs> Or because you made it come off. You're not supposed to come off. Okay. Imagine you can switch these out. The back plate? Oh no, it's like a wallet thingy. Oh! You can stick like a card or two. Oh, where so? Yep, in there. Okay, so this is a wallet case, ladies and gentlemen. We're finding things out. So you can definitely stick a few cards in the back of this. Pretty cool. So it's a wallet case and it has a kickstand. This is multifunctional. I'd be curious to know if it works in the wireless charger. So this is indeed wireless charging compatible. That is interesting. You wouldn't think it would be because it's really thick and then has that gap and everything. Yeah, I mean, that's what she said. So you said the gap. I was like, that's not gonna work. Moving on. She better not be saying that. Moving on, we have, looks like it might be my new favorite case, y'all. We have a premium cell phone cover. Looks pretty. Open it up. I'm opening it. What even looks like it's silver or something? Actually. Now, in technical difficulties, you're looking like me out there. Okay, so it's like stuck to the box. Do you need help? No, it's legit stuck to the box. Oh, 
Yo, it's stuck to the box. Oh, you don't say. Yo, it's legit stuck to the box. Whew. You wanna go to the third one? So while he is unsticking that from the box, here is a leather folio case, which I'm actually excited about opening. So I don't know if this is a case so much as a phone holder. Okay, so my phone definitely goes inside of it, as you can see here. And then you can put cards on the other side. Cards and cash over here. Phone over here. These are interesting. <laughs> Bam. This is interesting. What's even more interesting is this joint. The plastic definitely melted off of this onto here. That legit just <laughs> happened. Live on video. Well, not live, but recorded no, on video. No, that happened before we got it. This is really, can you, it's like it's bendy and mushy and it melted to the box. Okay. Well, it feels really pretty. It feels really good on my phone. I don't see no lip action. Okay, it felt pretty on my phone, but these buttons don't really push. No, there is no lip. And you know, I love thin cases, so that was great, but it doesn't feel this and tell me if I'm tripping. No, these, right? these buttons do not feel good mm -mm. at all. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to give this a pass. I wanted to love it so much, but I think I'm gonna have to give it a pass. Too. I mean, it looks pretty. Mm -hmm. It looks so pretty. It just, it feels really low quality. Like it was very poorly made. The fact that it got stuck to the box, the fact that the buttons don't push. I wanted to love it, but I don't. So with that being said, here's an awkward transition. We will put links down. <laughs> To no. everything here. Yes, there will be links to Cellular Outfitters. Now, keep in mind that is a website with a ton of mobile device accessories, not just these three cases. You can absolutely feel free to check them out. There might be something else that's more your speed, more your fancy, and not this. Or maybe this is just a bad production run. I don't know, but this one is not, this one wasn't that great. Not the move. No, but I do. I do think that one's pretty cool, and especially the fact that it still is compatible with wireless charging. And this one is nifty for those situations where I don't necessarily feel like carrying my wallet and my phone. Who are you though? <laughs> I'm sure you. Who am I? You're Corey. What do we make together? We make the tech couple. And what are we gonna do? We're gonna catch you guys in the next one. Ross. Bye. Later.